From the heart of the Amazon rainforest to the ancient Inca Trail to Machu Picchu, in this video, we will take you on our two-week adventure through Peru. May it inspire your own epic journey to this beautiful country. After an eight and a half hour overnight flight from LAX, our journey began in Peru's vibrant capital, Lima. We arrived at 7.30 a.m., so obviously our first priority was coffee and breakfast. Mix it real good. The first coffee of the trip tastes the best. Mm. We barely got any sleep on the flight, so it's necessary. <laughs> With only one day in Lima until the very end of our trip, we fought our jet lag and explored the upscale neighborhood of Miraflores, where we were staying. The John F. Kennedy Park, also known as the Cat Park, is a must for cat lovers. There were cats everywhere. We also walked to the iconic Love Park and admired the ocean views. After a quick break at our hotel, it was time to head out for dinner, and we had very exciting plans for dinner that night. We had made reservations months in advance to dine at Mido, the number six best restaurant in the world, known for their Peruvian-Japanese fusion. The tasting menu included 11 courses and each dish was better than the last. Our personal favorite was the Toro, fatty tuna belly nigiri that was prepared right in front of us. Enjoy. Thank you. It was seriously the best food I have ever eaten. Happy birthday to Liddy. We got up bright and early for a one and a half hour flight from Lima to Puerto Maldonado, one of Peru's gateways to the Amazon, with one of the smallest airports we have been to so far. After a stop at the Rainforest Expedition's office, we had a one-hour drive to the Tambopata River. From there, it was a two-and-a-half-hour boat ride to the Eco Lodge, deep in the heart of the Amazon rainforest and only accessible by boat. Along the way, we even caught our first glimpse of a capybara and a caiman. For the next four days, we would be staying at the Tambopata Research Center, the only lodge located within the Tambopata National Reserve. Looking for crit. It's all-inclusive and the top-rated eco-lodge in the area. And with its location deep in the jungle, it has the highest chances of seeing wildlife, such as monkeys and maybe even a jaguar. Fingers crossed. Yes, I'll leave the links to all of our hotels from this trip in the description in case you're interested. On our first crit. Now we had the evening to do our first trek through the jungle with our own private guide. We saw lots of creepy crawlers, including our first tarantula. Oh my god. Wow. It's kind of cute though, right? Wow, it, yeah, its eyes are shiny. Now we had three full days in the Amazon rainforest. Each day, our private guide would take us on expeditions through the jungle looking for wildlife. Definitely has a suction to it. I feel like such an adventurer. Don't fall in, though. We saw tons of adorable monkeys, creepy crawlers, colorful birds, and so much more. But sadly, no jaguars. We'll just have to come back again someday. It was so cool learning about these amazing creatures and seeing them in their natural habitat. One of our favorite parts of our stay in the Amazon was visiting the macaw clay lake. We got there just after sunrise as hundreds of macaws gathered. It was truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience.
If you want to see more of our time in the Amazon and all of the amazing creatures that we saw there, make sure to watch our full video exploring Peru's Amazon rainforest. I'll link it down below, but make sure to watch it after this video, of course. Wow, oh, that's creepy. He's so cute. Sadly, our time in the Amazon had come to an end. Today, we would be making the long journey by boat and bus out of the Amazon jungle back to Puerto Maldonado. Adios, jungle. Bye, Amazon. From Puerto Maldonado, it was a one and a half hour flight to Lima and then a one and a half hour flight to Cusco. Exhausted from a long travel day, we checked into our hotel in Cusco and pretty much went straight to bed. Now we had two full days in Cusco. Our main goal was to acclimate to the high altitude before we began hiking the Inca Trail, but we were excited to explore the city. Not gonna lie, I was definitely dealing with some altitude sickness during this time, but we powered through it and made the most of our time in Cusco. First, we had booked a full day tour from Cusco to explore the nearby Sacred Valley. Fun fact, the alpaca farm that we visited was at a higher altitude than Cusco and I actually fainted in their gift shop. The workers there were so nice and gave me this Agua de Florida which apparently helps with altitude sickness. At least I feel like it helped me. PSA, altitude sickness can happen to anyone, so be prepared and make sure to give yourself time to acclimate before doing the Inca Trail. The rest of the tour, we visited some ruins and learned about the history of the Sacred Valley. On our second day in Cusco, we explored the city. The city was beautiful, the food was amazing, and I can't wait to spend more time here someday. To watch our full two days in Cusco, check out our 48 hours in Cusco video linked below. the highlight of our entire trip to Peru, hiking the Inca Trail. No Peru adventure itinerary is complete without this bucket list journey. However, this hike is tough. We have just done our first incline and my heart was pumping. Luckily, they've been taking a ton of breaks, thank God. Spanning four days, 26 miles with a total elevation gain Watch of this. over 7,000 feet, reaching a max altitude of nearly 14,000 feet. I'm pretty nervous for today because it's the Dead Woman's Pass and all uphill all day. But it is well worth the challenge. After facing some altitude sickness in Cusco, I was especially nervous. But I found that Look while very bus, challenging, taking it slow with plenty of breaks made this hike totally doable. Made it to Dead Woman's Pass, woohoo! If I can do it, you can do it. While we're watching me fight for my life on the Inca Trail, feel pity for Linny <laughs> and hit that like button and consider subscribing for more adventures and bad jokes. In the arms of the angels. Somebody roll me down this hill. Across the four days of hiking, we saw the most beautiful views that we had ever seen. Hiking the Inca Trail was the most challenging thing that we had ever done, but we all agreed we would do it again in a heartbeat. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. After four grueling days of hiking, we made it to Machu Picchu. We made it to Machu Picchu. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to watch our Hiking the Inca Trail video next. It's probably my favorite video that we've made so far. Hiking the Inca Trail was so rewarding and I highly recommend it if you can. Back in 
Cusco, we had some chill time to rest up before heading back to Lima. It was an easy one and a half hour flight back from Cusco to Lima. We walked around the Larcomar Cliffside Shopping Mall and got dinner before heading to bed early. It was our last day in Peru and we finally had some time to explore Lima. So to make the most of it, we booked a full day tour of the city through Get Your Guide. Honestly, I was really glad that we booked this tour in order to see and do as much as we could in Lima in our short stay. The tour took us to a local market, to the ocean where we did a cooking class, which was delicious by the way, and then to downtown Lima where we visited the catacombs, learned about the history of the city, and admired the vibrant buildings. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Lima tour that we did in case you're interested. Our trip to Peru was action-packed and full of epic adventures. From visiting the Amazon rainforest to hiking the Inca Trail and crossing that off our bucket list. If you're ready to dive into more detail of our Peru adventures and prepare yourself for your own trip, don't forget to check out the other videos in our Peru travel series. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. We out here, we sleeping on the train. Woo! 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 Top quality footage. That was terrible. Why did I do that weird inflection? But I found that what no, I need to stop saying but <sighs> say it less awkwardly. Okay. Just stop. Do it right this time. Okay. <laughs>